Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can fix 100% CPU usage in Windows 10. Okay, so I know a lot of computers do this for some reason, right? And there's many different reasons they do do this, but um, whether whether you're using a Windows 10 or even like a slightly older one, um, it will happen to you. And these are just different tips that I've learned throughout the years that, you know, definitely help with uh, debugging why that's happening. All right. So the first one is not really like a, it's more of a hardware issue, right? Um, it could be a faulty power supply, right? And, you know, that can lead to undervolting your CPU and then your CPU uh, preserves power, right, which doesn't, um, what do you call it, um, it, then your computer is not able to give your processes enough juice to run it properly or at um, full hardware capability that you have. Okay, so, and the way to debug that is, you know, if you have a desktop, it's kind of harder. You have to uh, remove your power supply, put a new one, see if it works. If, if not, then, you know, put your old one back. Uh, but I suggest you go through the list first before doing that, because that's usually not the case, but definitely can be, right? Um, so, you know, that should be uh, your last option, right? But if you're using a laptop, an easy way to tell it is you can go to power plan, right so you can go to power options right um you know you'll probably see balanced maybe you'll see performance right um and you can unplug it put the performance and then just see how your cpu usage on your task manager basically how that goes up while it's being used and if not um you know just play around with it and see what happens once it's plugged in and versus plugged out all right, so that's the first one. Uh, the next one is a feature called Superfetch, right? Uh, Windows 10 has a new feature uh, that's called Superfetch, and that is basically used behind the scenes. It's, it's basically a process that's used behind the scenes where Windows 10 kind of learns what apps you use the most often, so it kind of preloads them, okay? So once it's preloaded, it loads a lot quicker um, for you. So for example, right now it could be preloading some application that it thinks I'm going to use next. So it's loading it in the background. But you know, if I never open it, it kind of just slowed down my experience right now for no reason. So you know, you can disable this. Um, one thing is you can see it in the task manager. Um, so I've seen it called different things once. You know, I've seen it called Superfetch, but I've also seen it called um, SysMain, S-Y-S-M. M A I N. So let me just order it by name. So it is a service, so it will probably show up somewhere here. So this one right here, um, you know, you can right click it, end task. And if you want to completely disable it, you can go to services. So press Windows R, type in services. Um, and then over there, find this. You can enable it and disable it um, from there. Okay, so because right now if you end task, restart the computer, it probably will start up again or, um, you know, it'll start up again automatically. So that way is um, you can kind of, or, or you can see it over here, I see, I guess. Uh, you don't have to go to services. I don't know when they built that in here. But yeah, so you can probably look for it over here. Where is it? Sysmain. S-Y-S. Right here. So you can see over here it's running. I can right click it, stop it, or restart it, you know, um, basically from there. So, yeah, you know, that that's basically a feature that definitely will help, especially if you're using an older computer. Um, this one definitely will help. So, definitely try to see that and um, try to tweak it and see how, how it affects your performance. Next is your power plan. Okay, so I normally run on balanced, but definitely um, you can do, you can create your own power plan, right? Um, high performance, right? And this one obviously will give you high performance. You obviously, you don't want to do high performance, especially um, if you're on battery. So I, I believe this option is for laptops. Uh, it might be for desktops, but I'm not 100% sure. But for laptops, all laptops have this, and you can um, 
change it the way you want but um, obviously you do not want to do high performance when on battery because when you do high performance on battery it does uh, use your battery up a lot more so yeah check that out tweak it mess around with it see how it affects your processes and the CPU usage right um, and see from there all right so last but not least is which applications you have installed all right so you know one of the major applications that uses up a lot of CPU in my opinion is an antivirus right so whether you have Avast Norton or you know the million other ones that are out there right it doesn't matter which one um, they all use a lot of power okay or a lot of CPU I should say and especially certain times they would use a lot more than others but you know that's definitely what you want to keep in mind uh, you know if you know you're not you know nothing's really gonna affect your computer uh, you know you can right click and disable it I don't have any installed over here but every antivirus has an option to disable it you know Windows Defender I have that enabled you know it's not really that good but that kind of just quietly runs in the background that doesn't really use a lot of uh, CPU okay so you know um, definitely see which one you're using you tr you probably want to do research and try to get one that doesn't use a lot of CPU because that definitely will help you all right um, last but not least I've noticed that sometimes when I do hear my fans go off on my laptop and you know I s it seems like uh, the laptop is heating up a lot quicker you know it's doing some heavy processing but on my desktop I'm not really doing anything um, if you open up task manager a lot of the times it will just stop okay obviously if you have a heavy process running it won't stop but I've noticed that a lot of times that as soon as I open up the task manager whatever is happening in the background just stops happening and then my CPU go back goes back to normal all right and the fans stop and the kind of cools down everything so yeah those are my top I guess I'm not even sure how many there were four or five tips right um, so yeah let me know what you guys thoughts are if you have any other questions leave them down in the comments below you know these are just personal opinion what I've been working with you know uh, things that have helped me in the past um, obviously there could be other reasons you know let me know what you guys what your trips or well, tips and tricks are on how you guys uh, lower CPU usage um, oh yeah one last thing um, that I would mention is that you guys should restart your computer often um, you know I've noticed that once if I have my computer on for like let's say a week uh, eventually it starts to slow down um, you know it might be noticeable or not it, it's just because you know uh, the longer the computer stays on throughout the different days different processes or services start running in the background and for some reason they just don't stop right um, they just kind of keep getting added up and then once you restart the computer it basically kind of reboots all the services and just starts up with whichever ones are needed alright so yeah um, that's basically it if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below uh, if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace